What's good, gang? It's your boy Ron Too Easy back with another NBA 2K23 build video. And as you guys can tell by the title, I have a demigod point guard build video for you guys today. And before we get started, make sure you guys leave a like, sub to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications to make sure you get any type of notifications on videos and live streams because we live stream all throughout the week and upload three times out of the week. I might even upload more. So just make sure you guys turn on the post notices also to be tuned in and make sure you guys go look at those previous build videos that I've made and definitely go show some love on those. We definitely been getting real consistent with those and been going up crazy with the views. So I appreciate all the love. I love each and every last one of my supporters that's rocking with me. So definitely go do that so we're gonna go ahead and get into this build video for you guys today so we got the point guard position today um we're gonna go with point guard right hand number 11 coming to the body settings we're gonna go tall six seven build today have a tall point guard on um, weight is 210 and then you want to go ahead and max the wingspan out to seven four and that one will body type solid so here we got the actual build we're gonna go ahead and get started on the finishing category. We got our close shot first, so we're gonna bump that up to a 70. Then um, next, we got the driving layup. We wanna go ahead and bump that up to an 87. Bump that joint up to an 87, and then you get your silver slithery. But once you throw that extra badge point on in this category or multiple badge points, you can also throw that up on slithery and you'll get gold. So don't even worry about that silver. Next, we got the driving dunk. Um, you want to go ahead and put that to an 86 and yeah like i said you got the badge points you throw that extra badge point on there you get that gold slithery finisher so now you got gold and let's take off then we got the standing dunk you just move that up to a 40 a little bit then you want to go to the shooting category we're going to put that mid-range up to an 82 we got that midi magician on hall of fame got that going crazy right there then next we have that 75 three-point shot then bump this up to a 60 on a free throw. Then uh, next we got the pass accuracy. I went with a 72 pass accuracy, nothing too high but nothing too low. And then on um, ball handle, you want to put that up to an 88 so you can have that gold quick first step. And you also want to have gold killer combos, gold clamp breaker, and gold unpluckable in them tier three badges. Next we got the speed with ball, put that to a 75. And then you got your defensive category, which is the best category of them all so 77 on the interior perimeter defense you want to put that at an 87 at 87 perimeter defense right there you get that hall of fame minutes and a gold challenger then next you want to come to the steel put that at an 85 and you can have that silver glove silver glove is definitely going to be nice you don't have to have it too high then you want to put the block and max that all the way out to an 87 and with that 87 block you get silver anchor on a point guard Silver anchor on a point guard is crazy, y'all. That's crazy. Um, then defensive rebound, 75. Then you want to have it set like a 33. Then um, move this to an 80. The speed on the physicals, you want to move it to an 80. Acceleration, you want to have it at a 78. Max the strength out to a 75, and you get bully. Then you want to have a vert and move that up to an 82. And then you want to put the stamina all the way up here at 92 so 15 finishing 19 shooting 19 playmaking and 22 defensive as a 6-7 point guard you get the four extra badge points you can choose to throw those in the playmaking category you can choose to throw them in the finishing category and get this one right here and get that gold slithery or throw all of them in there you can choose to throw it in here and get some more of these shooting badges right here like agent threes and choose to mess around with these badges and get some of those or you can just choose to just play around in this playmaking category. Some of these weaker categories would be one of my badges, but I wouldn't throw them in playmaking. Personally, me, I would definitely throw it in that shooting or that finishing. Those are two categories that I would throw it in. Um, but you good as day on defense. As a 6-7 point guard, like I said, you get silver anchor, chase down on goal. You already tall, so you can rebound. So you know the rebound chaser is up there. Um, pogo stick silver. You get uh, pick dodger gold, clamps interceptor glove all of that boys like six seven point guard you with the with the max wingspan so you got that you got that all that stuff out of the way so we're gonna go ahead and move forward with these takeovers so takeovers come to find out you get rim protector tape on a six seven point guard never seen it 
but I definitely feel like that that's something we'll definitely rock out with. Uh, probably I'll go something and mix it up a little bit, like something with like ankle breaking shots, and then go with like paint intimidation or interior bass drop. Um, oh no, not enhanced jump shots and stuff blocks or something like that. And those are two badges I will go with, but you guys can choose your own. Then when you get your shades, Lonzo Ball, K Cunningham, and you get Tyrese Halliburton. And you get the build name, Two Way Inside the Arc Shot Creator. I've got this name before on my D-Wade build in the past. So I've definitely seen the name before, and I like that name. It's definitely a cool name. 2K got to do better with these names, man, I swear. But I like this build. I like the shades. It's a W build. You guys, you know, it's up to y'all to let me know what y'all like about the build. You know, I definitely feel like this is my style of build. I like balanced builds. This build really has no weaknesses, but it's crazy, crazy on the defense. You get the blocks on top of, uh, you get a maxed out block on top of the steel and everything else and some interior with some rebounding. Yeah, I definitely rock out with this build. So let me know. Feel free to comment down and tell me how you like it tell me if it's a w build if you don't like it if you would have did this different whatever you know feedback you got for me just go ahead and put it down in the comments it's your boy ron too easy i catch you guys in the next build video i'm out